This is my Keystep Pro, and as most of you probably know, but I didn't, it doesn't make sound by itself. I mean, I know you can hook it up to a computer, but I didn't know how to make sound with it if you don't have a computer. It has all these nice gate exits on the back side, but how do you actually get a sound from this thing that you can hear? And this is a breadboard with a very primitive drum sound. And I had no idea how to get a sequencer connected to it to have it actually sound um, the way I want to on a speaker. Do you see my gray hair over here? These are the moments that I start to realize that I'm not 21 anymore. And I really need good tutorials to understand how to do things because it's a steep learning curve, but I got there. So combining my key step, my breadboard, and my homemade power supply, I finally found a way to make analog beat sequences. It's my ground pin. Yeah, here's my signal pin. And there we go. Oh no, I probably short circuited it. Oh. <laughs> I blew up my power supply. I created a short circuit between the minus and the plus 12 volt, but it's working again. <laughs> the signal line, here it is. There we go. Happy me! I know, it wasn't exactly the Blue Monday beat, but don't be a snob about it. This was my very, very, very first beat ever. I'm happy and I hope you liked this video. See you next time on Analog Archaeology. How does it feel? Well, very good actually, thank you.